Welcome to the Hank Cisco Show. Ladies and gentlemen, don't touch that dial. We have a show here today. Believe me, uh, you know, it's something that uh, I'm, I'm very much interested in because it's going to be talking about Norristown, the county seat of Montgomery County. And, uh, and we're, we're talking about uh, things of the past, okay? I remember what uh, Harry Truman said, the president, he said, what's new? The history we haven't read. So we're going to see history here right in front of our eyes. Uh, and, and we're going to get down memory lane, you know, look some some photos. And what I like about this show, because it's show and tell. It's not only we're going to be talking, but you're going to be showing. My two guests today, ladies and gentlemen, is author, okay? I'm author, right? And uh, Jack Cole at C-O-L-L, right? Pleasure to be and, here, Hank. Right. And then and, and my guest here is historian, right? Historian. Right. Michael Bono, you any relation to Chief, uh, relation to Chief Bono? Over in Sicily we are. Huh? Over, in, over in Sicily we are. Oh yeah, over there. <laughs> <laughs> the roots were there, yeah. right? Thanks. Sir. Well, we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, this show is gonna be about images of Narstown. Now, um, Jack Cole and, and and his son Brian, they they put a book together and it's called uh, Then and Now of Country Hawken, Then and Now of Narstown. Correct. So now. That, most of that was about buildings and roads and bridges and stuff. But now you're going to have a, a book, it's Images of Norristown, uh, which is faces and people. And Correct. Ex exactly. Experiences and you know, different things that, that will bring back a lot of memories. You know, and I, I have a lot of memories because I'm 82 <laughs> years of age, you know, and I've been around Absolutely. here a little bit. And uh, so it's, it's really, this is a great show that I'm going to enjoy, and I know you're going to enjoy. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you're, you're, uh, you're, was your son? The my son authored the books with me. Yeah, he, he's a he co co author. Or That's correct. Yes, right. my okay. son Brian. And Mike, you Michael or Mike? Michael. Michael. You like that? You like that? <laughs> there, there. Okay. Miguel. Yeah, Miguel. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. Now you you collect different things. What, yes. what do you do? What do you collect? I started with postcards, um, and then uh, through eBay. Um, that's a big thing nowadays. I, I anything that catches my interest. Uh, I, got, I have old deeds back to the late 1800s, books. Uh, I got the old plaque from the Valley Forge Hotel. You oh remember yeah. that? Oh when yeah. you're walking and say you go drink in the, uh, have cocktails in How the cabin that? room. And uh, I met a lot of friends and a lot of collectors over And you're years. also involved with uh, the Norristown Preservation Society mm -hmm. and the Bicentennial, which you're getting ready. That's what, a couple of years, what? Another 12th. Yeah, okay. That's 2012. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Now, I think we know a little bit about both of our people here. Jack, I'm going to start with you. Sure. Now, you already have Then and Now Country Hawken, Then and Now Norristown. Now, yes. tell us something about this image of Norristown that uh, you're going to put together. Well, I want to say that uh, a postcard book was done by Phil and Sharon Welsh, and, and it was a great project. The downside is with postcards, it locks you in from 1905 to 1915, 95% of it. So if you're around in that era, you could appreciate the postcard picture, or, or you can imagine what it was. The then and now book of Norristown was also a great project, but the dilemma there was you had to show mostly buildings so you could see what was there then and what's there now. Yeah, now right. So now we're doing an images book where we don't have to worry about being locked in a time zone, and we don't have to worry about honing in on certain buildings where we can get them then and now. Now we want to get into the, uh, we, we want to do some older stuff, Hank, because we, there's a lot of great pictures to be shown of the, the 1900s. But we also want to come into the 1950s and 60s and 70s so right. that people living today can remember that event. Right. And, and we'll right. go over a few of them events as the show goes on. But um, basically, we want to touch what people today have lived and experienced a, a lot right. of this book. Right. So it's going to be well, fun. Well, I know some of the, some of the um, pictures that you flash there that uh, sure. you see on the screen uh, bring back a lot of memories. You know, some of the police officers there. Oh. That, uh, it, uh, not with us. Norris all Towns, up in heaven now, so. Norris but, Towns uh, always had a a, a very uh, gifted police force. I, right, I mean, they right. took a lot of pride in it. The, the borough fathers took pride in that police yes. department, and uh, you go back, you go back 60, 70, 80 years, and Norris Town had 15, 60 police officers right, then. Right, and, uh, right. So they took a lot of pride in their police. Their, their I police know. Force. I remember, like uh, East Norton, West Norton, Upper Murray, and Upper Murray had one uh, one chief of police, and yeah. the other guy, West Norton, had the chief of police. No. But now they developed, you know. And, Absolutely. Uh, but we, with the county seat, we've always had a, a big police department. Yes. You know, and uh, the population grew, and the police department grew. Sure. And uh, now we also, 
sports also. We have Norristown. Uh, we're, we're filming this here in Norristown High School. Yes. And, uh, you know, I think that's great technology that we're able to go into the people's homes with, with oh, the, sure. all this information you have. So now tell us a little bit about this, this uh, the, the one that you had uh, about Norristown before and, and now. or what, what, the, what the book in Norristown? Right, then and right. Now, how did you go around and start getting information? How did you get that stuff? Well, you do a lot of research, Hank, and it, it takes like a lot where, of time. Where? Like, uh, we're talking to school students. Maybe they, they you, want to get into the, involved you, in this You there. start what with the, the two primary be? sources of, of information for any research would, A, be the Historical Society of Montgomery County up on DeKalb Pike, and B, the, Concha, or the uh, Norristown Library is a great right, source of right, information. Okay. So they are two starting points. And from there, it, it's all networking and contacting. You know, right. you, uh, it just seems like if you knock on any door in Norristown, that person has a picture they want to talk about. Right. And, and that's where you really get into the good stuff. Right, you know, that right. door to door. And some stories behind it. The stories behind the pictures are just fantastic. Just like the Times Herald, they, they have a show it's behind the, the headlines. Yes, you know? correct. In other words, they can't publish everything no. that happens, but you, know, you can talk that's about exactly it. That's exactly right. You know, that's on a exactly show like right. that. What else so what get? else you got? Well, what else you get from these pictures is a living history. Um, we might not have an answer to a photo sometimes, and we go to a couple of people that, that have that information, and they'll share, and the story will build from it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So uh, that's really interesting, just the living history part of it. I know you spent a, a, about an hour or so at my house oh, yeah. and going through some pictures. Absolutely. You only touched the top of it. I yes. got pictures with crossing guards, safety patrol, uh, it's children's safety patrol units. Uh, uh, and that's uh, the beauty. Floods. We had yes. floods. Uh, the Calb Street, I had to show them yes. where the snow was about this high. Right. You know, and cars was clicking up, you know. And, and that's These are things that the, the Norristown used to flood out, like down on Art, May, Main and Arch Street. Down yeah, right. Lafayette uh, below, uh, uh, no, the Calb Street below Lafayette used to flood out. Right. Until they found out one of the sewers was clogged and they, they well, they took the time to get down and see there was a piece of cement blocking it. Sure. You know? <laughs> the the end mean, result is the book, but the fun of it is, is that contact, that person-to-person -person contact, yeah. like, like going to your house and, and going to some other homes. Right. And, um, and then I'm going to give you some leads, abso too. Absolutely. People, you know? and, and I have to tell you, even last night, we were at a fellow by the name of Robbie Cohen's house, and, and, and Michael will tell you that, boy, he had a collection that would knock your socks off. I would, I would say second to none with his collection. Just unbelievable material. And you'll see some of that here today as well. Uh -huh. We're excited about that. And what, what like what? what? What were some of the things that the... Uh, like well, if I, can, if I can pick a few things up and we'll get started. Yeah. Is it okay Go to ahead. Go ahead. Get started on this? I mean, basically, is what the a lot of the book's going to be is, is going back to old Norristown, showing the old uh, hotel Norristown. This is down on East Main Street, down to where McDonald's would be today, down on East Main. Uh -huh. and, um, so these, these pictures like this are yeah. just tremendous. Um, another picture that's going to be highlighted in the book, and this is a, a rare photo uh, of the P&W trolleys, yeah, okay? I and remember. Uh, back in I'm the late the 30s, <laughs> they were displaying a brand new trolley where residents could actually go in yeah. and, um, and check out the, the new modern technology, if you would. But you got to love the old cars, and it's when the bridge still crossed over Main Street, right, the, right. the P&W crossed yeah. over Main Street. Uh, Norristown, besides the police, has a proud, rich heritage oh, of their yeah. fire department. Fire department, right? And and I have to tell you, this being the Montgomery here, uh, this was taken in 1911, and this was modern technology at its best back then. I mean, that was that was top top shelf. Norristown was was at the right. forefront of technology even back in 1911 when when they did this stuff. Mm -hmm. And Michael, we've been over a lot of fire stuff, and you know they were always on top of it, always on top of it. One of the great things that the um, borough has celebrated was the Susquecentennial held yeah. back in 1962, right. and Michael's now on the Bicentennial Committee uh, coming up, and uh, that'll be coming up. Well, actually, it'll be celebrating. Yeah, I attended one of the meetings. I'm going to help yeah, out. Yeah, 200 oh. years in, uh, in the year 2012. I mean, the borough of Norristown was incorporated in, on March 31st, 1812. Yeah, right. And you think about 200 years. Well, this was when they were celebrating 150 years, and, and the residents came out in thousands, which I hope they do what for the next celebration. That? This, this would have been 1962 here. Hello, I was there. You were there? Everybody, yeah, and policemen were growing beers, and I couldn't grow yes, a beard. Brothers of I the Bush. I don't got no much of a beard. I, could, I had to wait 15 years for it to get maybe an inch a, long. A lot of what tells the story in these pictures is not just a parade going by, yeah. but like old John Brothers in the background. That, there. that used to be the Grand Theater. That was the Grand right. Theater. And, and all of a sudden, mm -hmm. when you see this picture in a book, 
it, yeah. it strikes the memories right. accord right. with right. everybody. You know, I mean, uh, people who remember shopping at John's Bargain Store right. in Norristown. That John's Bargains, okay, but that was a grand theater, and above the grand theater was the Democrat Club. No kidding. It was a, a, a club. Yes. And uh, they, they was an after-hour club. Right. In other words, the state law, but the bars had to close at 12 o'clock right. on, on Saturday. 12 o'clock, they had to close. So, you know, sure, they, would, they would go to the club. Yeah, they right. They opened until 3 o'clock. Right. And that was uh, the grand... Sure. And it, and it cost me 12 cents to get in. Huh. 12 well, cents. Which was a lot of money. Which right. was a lot of money. But now... For memories, you, you just can't beat a shot like this. The trolley cars on Main Street. Right. You'll see the old Valley Forge Hotel right, here. Right. The Valley Forge Hotel. You can keep warm when I walked the beach. Sure. <laughs> well, I was built in 1925, right. and again, it was a state-of-the-art hotel. Right. Um, uh, right next to uh, Strawberry Alley there, right. and uh, the P&W stop up at the end. But uh, the old trolleys and the old cars, right. uh, back when Main Street was the shopping hub of Montgomery County. Right, right down below here, a little further, my father's shoemaker shop was 88 East Main Street. Down okay. here, where I shine shoes, and yeah. mm -hmm. over here there was a Puritan uh, Puritan market. Right. Uh, there was a Wool Woolworths, uh, yes, Kresge's, which right. turned out to be uh, Kresge's is, is uh, Kmart now, I think. Yes, right. Kresge, yeah. Right. And they were all on Main, right on Main oh. Street, you know. Woolworth Five, have, uh, the fountain Friday and, and Saturday night was a big thing. I mean, you couldn't walk up the street. Was like, so like I packed. said, the shopping capital of Montgomery County. Right. But but I want to stress that most of what we're looking for is just. I don't want to say average shots, but everyday shots. Everyday. Yeah. This this is an everyday shot right. in Norristown at the corner of uh, Sweden Main there uh, the, the, by the P and W stop. Yeah, and and it's just an everyday shot, but it that shows the, the old trust shows the bank. old bank and um, right there, man. I yeah. got that memory. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, but, but these are great memories, and right. that, that's what Norristown was. And uh, being as we're on your show, we have more than a few photos that we'd like to run of you in the book. Oh, uh, yeah. So you that might was, see everything from um, yeah, Hank was, Cisco with uh, Frank Rizzo. Yeah, Frank Rizzo. Uh, I had him come over there to Norristown, and that's Judge Smythe. Right. Judge uh, Smythe is going to be honored by uh, Bishop, uh, Bishop Kenry, Kennedy okay. Kenry, uh, uh, Hall sure. of Fame. You know, now, great guy. We love these the types of shots because it does show the Norristown right. Police Department. And if you look underneath here, the fellow hanging off the motorcycle, you yeah. will recognize as a young Hank Cisco. That, right. Was, I, I was, uh, that was the MSS uh, feast, and I was uh, escorting the parade with the motorcycle. And that was Freddie Hill, was uh, the policeman that right. worked with me, and, and also Chief Back, the chief of police, and John McCrudden. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, were, and that's in front of Louis Good. Luncheonette, who's still there. Yeah, Louis right, right. One of the oldest restaurants in town. Good group of people. Right. Now, you might get down there for a sandwich after the show. There you go. <laughs> you talk about the Norristown Police oh, yeah. Department. And, and again, uh, when you go back and research the Norristown Police Department, state of the art, Hank. I mean, they, they, right. they outfitted their officers with, with yeah. uh, up to date uh, equipment. That was okay. uh, the, our chief of police, uh, Chief Baxter. He believed in education. We were over in Upper Dublin. That was an, uh, an FBI school. No kidding. A uh, training school. And uh, there's about, about three or four other police departments. Right. But uh, most of the are Norristown police officers there. Yes, right. But we but again, the education. The FBI. And then of course we have Hank during some <laughs> of his free time here. <laughs> I was I was roughly in a fight in Philadelphia Arena, and uh, Yank Durham, who was Joe Fraser's manager, is on the left hand side. They okay. were the white suit, and Muhammad Ali was in the audience. He comes in and grabs the microphone, and he says, "I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest." And and I had to throw him out. Well, I grabbed him by the arm, and you know. Well, I don't have to say that. But, Ali uh, and our local resident Joe McCoppin. Frazier were enemies back then. Yeah. Sure, but uh, he that, that that was before the first Frazier uh, Muhammad right. fight, and uh, Muhammad we became friends uh, after that. Right. You know, so and Joe now, Frazier. I, I just have to review a few of these real quick. These are from Robbie Cohen's collection. But that's before my time. <laughs> and let me tell you, this, this is a, a great picture outside the public square, which is now uh, uh, the courthouse area. Okay. Right. Right. And uh, these were riggers and haulers, uh, people who needed. Their stoves moved and so on and so right, forth. That's the way they moved them. Stoves the back then, they, they were all iron, and uh, you couldn't lift right. them, you know. And uh, the old hardware store was right. Copland's Hardware and so on. But I'm just going to run through a couple of these real quick because these, these are treasure troves here. Yeah. Now, this view here was taken from the courthouse, and the beauty of it is it shows the old covered bridge. Oh, this yeah. This was taken yeah. back yeah. around the that turn the of the century. Bridge. That was and the bridge. I think they called that the Penny Bridge down by Ford Street, no? Down by Ford Street Ford was, was the Penny Bridge, yeah, but this was the covered bridge to the Cab Street Bridge, yeah. We got shots of that that's going to be. Oh, yeah? Absolutely. I, another, these are going to be in the book. Like, yes, these are going to be in the with book. With the images, too. Yes, and, uh, and a caption to tell you all about it. Now, 
Now, Norristown had two early trolley companies before electric trolley cars, okay? And this oh. is the Citizens uh, a Trolley Company. And they were horse-drawn trolleys and, horse. and it served as public transportation, if you can imagine. And they would strap bells around the horses to, to ring to notify people that the trolley was coming so that they could come out and jump on the trolley. Just and the horses used to walk, and they'd, and they'd go in, and they used to call them road apples. When the, oh, sure. <laughs> you know. And, yep. And that's, I have to tell you that, time, that nobody has this shot except Robbie Cohen. I mean, the yeah. Historical Society didn't have it. Right. Some of the most avid collectors didn't have it. Michael didn't have it, who's an avid collector. And yet, when we sat at Robbie Cohen's house, boy, did he come up with oh, some knockout. Great. And no. I can't wait to get this stuff in the book because he really wants to share it with everybody. And that's right, the beauty. Right, right, that's right, a beautiful thing. They, they, he wants that's to share right. these images, and that's great. This is a very rare photo of the courthouse before the turn of the century. The it looks like uh, First Presbyterian no, Church. Look at the spiral on the courthouse. Oh, yeah? That's that, way yes, back. Yes, way back. back well, before. That's almost the same as the First Presbyterian Church with John, yes. uh, John Doyle. Did, uh, this was back, he was inside there taking shots. This was back in the 1800s when wow. the courthouse had a spiral dome on it. Ooh. Just unbelievable. How about that? And this being Stroud's photography studio, this was down next to the Grand Theater for many years. Grand, next to the Grand. Yep. On Main Street. Yeah, On Main Street. Strouds. Yep. A little bit before my time. Beautiful place. We used to, when I would walk the beat, we had to try the doors, you know. Oh, we sure, on, yeah. We'd come on in midnight. Right. And try the doors and see if any doors opened, you know. Now, I just want to say that uh, another uh, a great source that we were able to tap, okay, was a fellow by the name of Bill Landis. Now, Bill Landis was a photographer for the oh, Norristown yeah. Times right. for probably 50 years. And you think about Bill Landis covering a half a century of history yeah, in this borough. Right. But he was there when Senator John Kennedy. I was there, too. I Hank escorted was there. him from Bridgeport. <laughs> yep, he came through Bridgeport. Uh, Senator John Kennedy right. came into Norristown on October 29th, right. 1960. Uh, a week before the election, and he held a rally at Roosevelt Field, yeah. and um, it was just a, a great, great rally. Right, and right. he re at Roosevelt Field. Yes, at right, Roosevelt right. Field, and and Kennedy was very receptive to the people. There must have been oh, ten thousand yeah. people, yeah. and uh, he he charmed the socks off of them. And now you uh, see, you see where he got his hand in here. Yeah. Well, can I tell tell you the story? Tell me a story. We had to pick him up. He was running late. It was a raining, raining. Yes, and it was. It, it was raining, and he it was at some country club out in Chester County or someplace, and all the cars got stuck in the mud because they're parked on the oh, grass. Geez. So they were late getting through there. So they told us in advance, no sirens, okay? Kennedy didn't want any sirens, just wanted to come through town. Yeah. But the mayor in Bridgeport, I think his name was Brennan or something, he says, okay. listen, that Irishman's coming through my town. He says, I'm going to, you know. <laughs> so he put a human barricade and stopped it, and he blew the fire whistle. The no <laughs> kidding. And finally, we stopped at, Rose of, at, at the Valley Forge Hotel, and his hand was swollen because people were shaking hands, and he no had to put kidding. it in ice, you know. And his he wow. was hurting there. He was hurting. Yeah. And uh, so I, I escorted wow. him, and and so the the uh, FBI and a treasure guy they were saying move, move, and I and I was escorting him with this. Uh, I had the emergency truck at the time with yeah. the loudspeaker. Yes, right. And so the nuns at uh, at Sacred Heart Hospital and and in St. Patrick's. They said, they want to see, they want to see, you know. So I slowed down, and the FBI guy's like, come on, come yeah, on. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yep. So I I'll slowed down so they could get a look at it. Sure, know? absolutely. But it was great. Then when we got to Roosevelt Field, right. the crowd was Oh, there, sure. And we tried to hold them back, you know. We went arm length. Yep. Then we went uh, elbow length, you know. Yeah, right. It was really something. Well, you about a living history? You just shared that. Nobody would get that out of that photo. Right. Oh, yeah, it's right. unbelievable. And... I just I just have to say that these these pictures and these memories are brought back to life by Bill Landis, right. the photographer. And boy, does he have a trove of goods that, that he's oh, willing yeah, to he's share. He's a great photographer. He's a know. good man and, and a great photographer. And they uh, had uh, they escorted. They had three, two or three uh, Philadelphia police motorcycles. J. T. Harrington was one of the. Uh, he was head of the FOP, and he right. was escorting. They, they helped him out with an escort. Yeah, right. And he was going through the crowd, and the crowd was so. When he got to the Valley Forge Hotel. He had three cameras, uh, you know, the, the yes. straps. Yes, oh, yeah. That they were so close, they caught on to his handlebars, and <laughs> he was here with the, you know. Yeah, right, exactly. With the crowd. It now, was unbelievable. Now, just one week before, yeah. President Nixon, Nixon was there. Well, I was going to say, for the other political side, yeah. Nixon visited two weeks earlier. Yeah, a week, yeah, or two weeks before, yes. or after, I forget. And he was at Main and Sweet Street. Yes, I exactly. escorted him, but the, what the enthusiasm wasn't there. I mean, you could, right. you could feel but, the But people. ironically, while, while Kennedy won the election that year, yeah. He lost 
to the Montgomery County voters by nearly 30,000 votes. Well, it was in Montgomery solid County. Republican. Absolutely. You know, uh, so so Nixon won big time in Montgomery County regardless. But now things are meds and meds, you know. You oh, know, sure, you know, what sure. Way go. But, but these, these are That's just history. precious, precious pictures that you're going to see in the book. So, right, um, right. And then, Michael, tell me about a few of these, if you wouldn't. Uh, this is from uh, Anthony Contenere. He used to have a hardware store up on West That's Marshall. Plain. Yeah, um, yeah, and he got this from a photographer. He, he came at one history day and handed me uh, a bunch of negatives. We got them done. And uh, now there's a number of these. Is that correct? Yes, a number Different. of them. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's they'll all be. There's the bank on West uh, yeah. West Market yes. Street Bank. Yes, yeah. absolutely. The it's still passes. there, but that, a clamo is there. Yes, now. right. Correct. Right. So right. there was a ton of them that he shared with us, and uh, these have gone through a bunch of collectors. I've oh, okay. shared, I've shared them with a lot of people on the West and End. Spillane's uh, that's billboard is still there. Yes, oh, sure. It's still there. Yep. We know what uh, they've done with that building. It's a great Well, that was there. from 1962, that parade or so? A little uh, 58, maybe. 58. Okay. Here's some good stuff to share. This is from, uh, this is from uh, Phil Lasorda. We got Phil, uh, Tommy Lasorda? Phil Lasorda, yeah. yeah. This is Jimmy Lasorda. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> okay, you know Jimmy. He was okay. on. Uh, he was on uh, council. He was. He had the building department, zoning. He oh, ran. Yeah, yeah, did he yeah, run he for mayor? Yeah, he ran for mayor too, yeah, didn't he? Yeah. No, he was a councilman. He ran. He ran for it. But, uh, Check this out. The guy in the middle is uh, Angelo Nicola. Do you remember him? They call him Tank. Uh, Nicola. Did he used to write for the Times? Or? No, he used to uh, be a bartender for the LAM. The the Rex. What's his last name? Nicola. I don't know him. I guess I call him Rock. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I well, they said he was 18 pounds when he was born. Huh? That's the living 18 history. 18 pounds? 18 pounds. Ah, come Me, on. Me, Nuzza. Yeah, that's why he, yeah. was, he was half bomb, most likely. <laughs> and then we got Char Charlie Lasorda. Babe, he died young. Who? Um, Charlie Lasorda. Oh, yeah. The okay. third guy. He died yeah, I know young. I know the whole Lasorda He was family. a painter. Right. So this is all from Phil, and this is all the so a shot. We had it. Tommy Lasorda here on in the yeah. his. Yeah. I'm trying right. to get a shot of him on the baseball team. Right. And this is old Borough Hall back in the 70s. Right, right. Now that My gymnasium was over here. Yeah. And there was a farmer's market. Right. And that was the auditorium up top. Where say that, that was the biggest thing. You have banquets in there. That was the biggest hall. Oh, sure. Look at the size that of that it. building. There was, no, I mean, there was no Westover or Presidential. No, no, no. That was, that was the biggest it. hall. Well, the policeman's Ball were there. When you ask about what I collect, I have the old Borough Market sign. The the, how about the clock? No, they had they that, moved top, that. that went over top of the trolley bridge, didn't it? I, that I don't know. No, that, that came from Main and Sweet Street, and they okay. put it there, and then they put it down uh, City Hall, and I don't know what happened. Where is yeah, that okay. now? That I don't know. Maybe we, can, maybe we can look into that. I don't know. And I also have some of the old leases from the old markets out there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that you would sign. Yeah, yeah. No, Joe Basil, uh, another Moore, market. Moore's Market. Yep. That corner. And the chief of police's office right here, and, he, and we do traffic out here. And you look out the window, we make sure we're directing yeah, right. traffic in it. But that corner had an awful rich history, oh, starting yeah. with the yeah, farmers yeah. market, and it's YMCA, the next building yep. next right. to it. So th these are this is just some from some private people versus collectors. Right. So th there's a lot of a lot that people can offer and share with us. Well, you know, now can if people have something to offer, uh, that we're, I'm going to see maybe we can flash your number where they sure. can get in touch with you. Th they can and still. We want to be part of the community. You know, yes, we want, we want community input into this book. We're, we're looking for them pictures that have been tucked away to, to get into this book. And, and this will be good for the Bicentennial Committee, right? Oh, sure, absolutely. Okay. And uh, Ab Now, we still have two months till we go to press, so we're open to, to receiving, two more months. receiving right. photos and, uh, and going over them. Not, we wouldn't guarantee them because, of course, Arcadia has the final say on the photos that go in. What's but that now? Run that by me I, again. I say we, we couldn't guarantee that everybody's pictures would make oh, it in yeah, the book. Oh, yeah, no. I, I, I give you, what, 50 pictures? You're going to use yeah. four or five. I, sure, I understand that's right. that. Yeah. You know. So, um, but we are very enthusiastic about reaching into the neighborhood and not just uh, producing photos in this book that you've seen 100 times. No, that's what we want to stay we're away We're from. not interested in um, old photos you've seen. We want rare stuff. We want right. family stuff. We want, we want good stuff. And it's about the people. This is more about the people of the borough. So we're... We're, we're thrilled to be able to do this. We'll have to get you something uh, like uh, food, something to do with food, like brajoli, right? <laughs> and uh, dandelions. People used to go eat, you know, cut sure. the dandelions, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Gigodis. So that, that Gigodis, would be something. Right? Huh? Didn't they call them gigodis? Shigodia. Yeah, Shigodia yeah. in, in Italian. Right. And, uh, yeah, so uh, then, then the gaduna. 
Gaduni. Uh, that's uh, Explain rhubarb. That to me, Hank. I think that's rhubarb. Explain that to me. I'm Irish here. I don't uh, know. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're Mediterranean Irishmen. So. Well, I, I was kidding. I said I was born in Ireland, Coney Island. But yeah, no, that's, that's a one-liner. Uh, but uh, no, I, I think that would be good because years ago, I remember my father would take we go and it was grass. We would go looking for dandelion, you know, cut the dandelion, you know. Right. And then the gaduni, that was along the railroad track you'd find, uh, you know, I don't know why. Rubber, but, uh, wild yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's, this has been great half hour. Oh, and, sure. Uh, it's, already, yeah. And yeah. Uh, so what, what we want to emphasize is get in touch with you. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have some rare pictures you think that you want to be part of, be part of Norristown, be part of the image of Norristown, uh, please get in touch with Jack Cole or historian Michael Bono. Kabish, okay. <laughs> so, you did, well, how cut your cup? You don't have no cup. No cup. Get your cup <laughs> over Salud. here. Um, or put your hand over there, like a there. Say, al salud. That means means to your it health. To a great okay? finished product, absolutely. So, ladies and gentlemen, till we meet again, keep bobbing and weaving, and get get whatever pictures or anything that had to do with Narstown. It could be an old railroad track, okay, or an old meter, okay, that used to have meters years ago. Oh, sure. And so. Here we go again. So just until we meet again, keep bobbing and weaving, and I'll see you. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you for having us. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Take care.